Shanda. The mind of Christ, superior belief systems. Every gathering against your life. Today they start. I do. Nobody, no diviner, no sangoma, no astrologer, no herbalist sits in his house to see your case. Somebody brought it to him. Am I communicating here? When all of a sudden, the cops, you notice you are facing harassment. You are arrested by the police. They are chasing you. They are tracking your line. They are monitoring you. You are not the only one in talking. Somebody reported you. Somebody out of envy and anger suddenly decided to make you a project. Someone. Someone. In Psalm 41 verse 9, he said, my own familiar friend has lifted up his heel against me. The Bible says in Zechariah 13 verse 6, he said, what are these wounds in thy hand? He said, I was wounded in the house of my friend. There are so many of us under the sound of my voice. The Bible makes it clear in Matthew 10 verse 36 that a man's enemies and a man's foes are the members of his own house. So as it is now, it is someone appearing close. In 2 Samuel chapter 20, if you read from verse 4, there was a man called Sheba, the son of Bikri. Sheba insulted David. Sheba harassed David. Sheba said all kinds of things to David. And David said, he said to Abishag, he said, what Sheba has done is close to what Absalom has done. Chase him. And they began to pursue Sheba. And the man ran. When the man ran, he entered into a city. But let me explain to you. The cities of those days was fenced and walled round because of enemies. So the fence it round, it had only one exit and one entry. Only one massive gate. So Sheba ran into the city. It was a busy day. As he entered into the city, the people were confused. They didn't know which part he entered. They didn't know how to trap him. And there was no exit. Only one gate. They saw people moving about. All the soldiers stood. They said, how do we get him now? The whole place is busy. How do we identify him? They said, we know what to do. All of us go out. They went round. They said, move round the whole city and burn down the city. Burn down the city because of one man. Women were there. Men were there. Children were there. But the city was to be burnt down totally because of one individual. Do you know that's what's happening in many families? You see, people cannot marry. Young ladies cannot get married. People cannot rise because of one individual in that family. There are families today because of one wrong person there. There are people that cannot become somebody. No matter how many nations they go to, they can never achieve anything. No matter how many jobs they get, no matter no matter how many contacts they get, what is working for others cannot work for them because somebody ran into the family to take shelter. The Bible says, and they said, burn down the city. Why they were about to burn down the city? A woman came. He said, what are you trying to do? They said, somebody enter the city. Madam, we don't hate you. We don't hate your children. But we are burning down everybody. Because when we burn down the old city, we are going to burn them also. He cannot escape. Because of one individual, thousands of people were to be roasted. Thousands of people were to be sacrificed. And the woman said, who is the person? I am a mother in Israel. We will identify that person. And he said, we will locate who that individual is. And the Bible said, by the wisdom that God has given her, they located Sheba. And the woman gave an instruction, she said, cut off his head. Am I speaking to somebody here? That is what happens when a Jonah is in your boat. You will lose all you have gathered. You will lose all that you have acquired. When there is a wrong individual penetrating in your life and this is why we are here today by the power of the Holy Spirit we are here to make a declaration that anyone anyone man woman boy girl in your family outside your family who is excited to see you in pain my God shall respond to them Judas the treasurer this was Judas that kept the finances of Jesus now standing with the enemies of Jesus who were out to take him have you been in a situation where your friends are standing with your enemies? Have you been in a situation where those you trusted so much are now taking camp with those who want to destroy you? It is easy.
easy to talk about, but it's painful to experience. When somebody who you think knows so much about you is not teaming up with those who want to take your life. Have you been in that situation? I just look at all the disciples standing with Jesus. They say, Judas, you, you are standing with the soldiers who came for the master. You are standing with the soldiers who have come to take our Lord. Have you been in that situation where the people you trusted, you told them things, and all of a sudden they turn? A young man met me in America some time back and he held my hand. I was touching people. As I put my hand on his head, he held the hand. So I tried to remove it to touch the next person. He held it on his knees. He held the hand. So they were trying to so leave him. What's the matter? He said, I want to talk to you. And I said, okay. Let me finish praying for people. He said, no. Let me talk to you first. I said, but, and he said, mm -mm, it's urgent, sir. I said, okay. I told them, I said, wait. So I said, can we talk? He said, no, no, no. Privately. Ah. So I said, he said, sir, I just want you to decree a word. That God will kill Hannah. I said, ah, who be Hannah? <laughs> he said, Hannah is in Chicago. Just, just say, say, God, kill Hannah in Chicago. Talk out. Say it, sir, say it. I said, you can't tell me. To, I'm not an assassin. I'm not. He said, he said, sir, if I finish telling what Hannah did, you will tell God to kill Hannah. Just tell God to kill Hannah. So I just say it and I will leave you to go and pray for other people. I said, I can't say it. He said, we'll stay here now. <laughs> and I was interested. I said, okay, tell me what has Hannah done. He said, he was schooling in Illinois, in Chicago, and he found a girl. And he had a relationship with the girl. And I mean, you know those people, they have no shame. Started burning, burning Peking, just burning Peking. Born one Peking, born two Peking. And they had two babies. He had a friend he met in school. He was sick. When he himself was sick, he was admitted in the hospital. Two days before he returned from hospital, Hannah had carried his things his children and relocated to his best friend's house now as if that was not enough Anna said to the court that they both owned the property you know America they gave everything to Hannah so he said to me sir I am starting from the scratch he said no I can't let her go Papa pray tell God to kill Hannah I said, now I understand why Hannah should die. I said, but you and I, we need to sit down and talk. Because if Hannah dies now, your children are involved. We need to take back Hannah from whoever has taken Hannah. What am I trying to say? Hey, best friend! Can I say this to you, somebody? You don't really have a best friend. There is no best friend in life. If you still feel you have a best friend that you have not seen trouble, there are good friends, there are kind friends, but there are no best friends. Am I speaking to somebody here? Don't put your life in the hand of a man. Stop announcing yourself. Stop announcing yourself. Keep your dreams to yourself. Keep your plans to yourself. Stop talking too much. You talk too much. Hey, how long have you been talking? Say five years. Me? Three years. I'm building. I'm building. <laughs> talk, 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 talk. Say, I'm building. I, I, me? Ah. If I tell you what I just hammer now, eh? I just hammer. So they are looking for raw materials to attack you and you give them. There are people that have witch doctors. They put them on retainership. You know retainership? They just put them, they are paying them. So if sometimes the witch doctor have no work, so they have to give them. You see anything? I have one friend that's building. How can he be building when I'm here? Work on him. Ladies especially. You are not going to America. You are planning. Everybody's aware. You are planning. You are not there yet. Everybody's aware. On your phone, your profile. That's how you post. America on my mind. <laughs> Jeremy 
yet I come. Stop giving the enemies raw materials to attack you. Stop. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Stop. Let people hear your fame. Don't tell them. Trouble them with your success in silence. 